Today's video is going to be all about how to create uniform gathering using clear elastic. This is a simple, quick, and easy way that will help you create gathering on garments that looks and feels professional. We're also going to take a deep dive into the Blissful Blazer, which is this week's feature pattern. The pattern is so adorable and so beautiful, and I cannot wait to show you my version. I'm going to walk you through the pattern and show you what it looks like, how it's sewn, um, the fabric choices that you have for it, and some of the special details that make this a perfect topper for any dressy garment, but it's also a fun statement piece that you can wear with just about anything. So in a second, I'll show you the video for how to gather using clear elastic. But first, let's take a closer look at the Blissful Blazer. And if you're really just here for the gathering of the elastic part, you can skip ahead to the timestamp in, that's in the show notes. So the Blissful Blazer uses this gathering technique, but it is so much more than that. The Blissful Blazer has a really polished look to it, and uh, part of that is due to the curved hem that it has, um, which allows for these beautiful double statement ruffles, which you can customize to your preference. You can make them out of knit fabrics or you can use woven, woven fabrics like I have, and the pattern is also fully lined, which makes it totally feel professional and sleek. So even though it is fully lined, it has an easy to assemble style, which looks a whole lot more complicated than it really is, trust me. Um, there is a stand-up interface collar, and it has buttons, which could also be snaps. And you can see the truly sophisticated princess seams that are on both the front and the back. Let me tell you a little bit about my fabric. I used a medium weight lavender ponte, which we sourced from Raspberry Creek Fabrics. This ponte is so easy to sew and creates such a polished final product. Keep in mind that you can use both knits and wovens with this um, pattern, but you would wanna make sure that they're fairly stable and structured. All of the rest of the trim and lining is from Hobby Lobby. The white ruffle trim was re came completely pre-made, which was a huge time save. The inexpensive purple satin was used for both the lining and the bottom ruffle, and I used the elastic gathering method for it. The small shafted buttons are plastic, but have a metal effect, and I love how there is a military vibe and an almost like nutcracker ballet effect that contrasts with her fancy frou-frou dress. So now let's learn how to gather using clear elastic. You can see that this is a really useful technique for this pattern with our double ruffle styling, but it's also a really useful technique that can be used on so many other patterns that require gathering. Before I learned this technique, I typically would use a long basting stitch and I would have to like painstakingly um, gather by pulling on the threads and sliding the fabric on those basting stitches. And that often could result in some uneven gathering. And it requires a lot more time to put into getting it all spaced correctly and lining things up with wherever you plan to put it. This clear elastic technique results in really uniform and quick and professional looking gathering. And I think this is gonna be my go-to method from now on. So if you are applying this technique to Blissful Blazer, all of the fabric and elastic measurements are already contained in the pattern and on the pattern pieces. However, if you are applying this technique to another type of garment, you can find your elastic length by simply laying your elastic across whatever pattern piece you plan to attach the gathered piece to. For example, if you need to gather a skirt, lay your elastic that you plan to use for gathering on top of the bodice that that skirt will be attached to. And then you'll be able to find out how much elastic you'll need to use to gather appropriately. We should also note that when it comes to clear elastic, it has many uses in sewing. 
What we typically like to use is a 3 8 inch clear elastic, though it comes in many different sizes. And if we're using it for stabilizing purely, we use a ratio of fabric to elastic that is one to one. So the same amount of fabric as elastic is used if we're just using it for stabilizing. However, when we're gathering, we want that elastic to draw up and gather in that fabric so we would need a shorter amount of elastic compared to the fabric that's there. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly and easily gather a strip of fabric with clear elastic. This elastic is 3 8 inch, but you can also find it at a quarter inch. Um, I have marked the elastic into four into quarters, just marked it evenly. And I also marked my piece of fabric into four quarters. So just real, it's going to be super fast. We're going to use a three-step zigzag stitch. If your machine doesn't have one, just use a regular zigzag. Just widen it out as much as possible. So my three-step zigzag, I'm going to go up to six and as high as it'll go and lengthen the stitch to one and a half. So we're going to line the clear elastic to the wrong side of the piece of fabric being ruffled. Lower your presser foot and, and your needle. And you just kind of hold the, the bobbin and the thread behind there and go about a half an inch to secure it to make it a little bit easier on you. Now we're going to stretch the clear elastic and match up the quarter points. You're not stretching the knit fabric or well, it doesn't matter. You're just stretching the elastic to match up the quarters. I think it's easier if you hold the threads in the back behind there. And start stitching until you can grab the fabric itself and the elastic. And then just kind of pull it through. So we're just going to match those. You can stop and start. If you stop, um, hopefully your machine will do this, but drop your needle so you can stretch it and not have to worry about the fabric and the elastic going anywhere. So I'm just matching it up. Readjust as needed. Drop your needle if you can while you readjust. We're matching up those quarter points. Readjusting with the needle down. I would, it, that's a little tip. If you're machine shopping, one thing to look for is a machine that will let you do that. That is so helpful to be able to just tap the foot pedal once and then it'll drop the needle. It is perfectly evenly gathered and will make your life so much easier. No more sewing in, basting threads and pulling it and then untangling it. This is just so much easier and quick. I hope that that tutorial was helpful for you and I hope that getting a closer look at the Blissful Blazer showed you how awesome this pattern is. If you have any other questions or comments or suggestions, please leave them in the box below and we look forward to hearing from you. I just have to make a little side note. I know that we will get questions about, is there an adult version of the Blissful Blazer? And there isn't, and Timmy doesn't have plans currently to make one. However, I think it would be a great idea to use the Metra Blazer and do a little bit of pattern hacking to create that double ruffle and the curved hem that the um, Blissful Blazer has. So just an idea. Thanks so much for stopping by and spending some sewing time with me. As always, we love to hear from you and connect with you and please continue to reach out to us and enjoy your sewing.